Hello, this is K Hardware, and today I'm gonna show you how to make breakable walls with the uh, help of particle systems and uh, rigid bodies. For this, we use Scorpion's 81's uh, fracture modifier built of Blender, uh, which uh, works very well for fracturing objects in a different way. And uh, you can take it from uh, here, this website, dfvxde. Uh, builds uh, for Windows, uh, Mac OS, and uh, Linux available as well. And uh, also, we're gonna use a uh, special add on particles to copy particles to rigid bodies, uh, which will help us very much uh, to convert uh, particle systems and the action of each particle to. Uh, the um, uh, rigid bodies. Okay, uh, so please be sure to install this script uh, into your Blender Action Modifier Builds uh, add on folder and also make sure you uh, enable this build in settings, copy particles to rigid bodies. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, start with the uh, set up in scene. So uh, here is our default cube. We will scale it a bit. So big. So let's uh, size it by axis. Yeah. Size it by x, x axis. Okay, with another object plane to be the floor. Yeah, just from the scratch, we will uh, do the physics step and uh, actually add passive to this floor. So it would be the floor, so all the shards and particles as well. And uh, in another step, we should create additional plane, which will be our emitter of particles, yeah, and uh, we create particle systems for this. So now you can see our emitter emits particles, uh, but with some very low speed, so we'll set speed to 50, I guess, Let's check see these particles flow and uh, we don't need so much uh, particles we uh, could use 25 okay let's do 20 particles and uh, lifetime to 100 yes and let's check yes now it looks like something's firing to the wall and uh, so in two different parts of the wall. Yeah, so that would be our particles which interact with itself. Yeah, move a little bit. Uh, emitter will be a little bit far away. Okay, uh, next step is um, uh, we're gonna use some object as the shape of particle. So let's try to mimic the shape of the real bullet or uh, shell create cylinder by the way let's switch to airframe mode and uh, to edit mode make by loop cut and slide then just apply the shape Make it look like a real bullet. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Uh, exit edit mode. 
copy origin to center of mass. Uh, scale it, scale it a bit. Uh, press Ctrl A and apply the scale. And uh, then select our particle system. Set uh, render, render allowed particles to be object. And set the cylinder. Okay. And let's set size to 0 0.5. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. Now we see that objects firing, but they actually quite small. So what we're gonna do is to scale, is scale it, yes, and then rotate it by minus ninety degrees. Should it help? Go to edit mode and uh, rotate in it in edit mode itself. So it's rotated in the some strange way. So we can rotate it in Z axis by ninety degrees. Okay. Now we have our bullets flying and firing. Yeah, nice. So well, uh, so that's the initial setup, and we're gonna make uh, the physics. Uh, first of all, we're gonna select our wall and fracture it. And for this, we will use the special modifier, which is special for this build. It's called fracture. So it fractures on the object and uh, sets uh, uh, automatically some uh, physics for this. So here you, you have the settings, the fracture ribbon algorithm, shard count, cluster count, and uh, others. Uh, so here you can set up, set up shape of the shards, the shards, and uh, here you can set up the constraints and uh, the connections between each uh, shard, uh, how the whole project would be tied. So uh, we will set the number of shards to let's let it be 1000 for example or maybe 2000 and uh, so we believe it's breakable and uh, yeah and let's constraint breaking so we will not use constraints now but we could use it for Another type of simulations and press execute fracture. Before this, uh, you could uh, fine tune the fracturing, uh, how your object would be fractured, in which way, by own particles, uh, even grease pencil. So you can draw place uh, where the uh, object should be broken, uh, object, and it will break on the object. But we will use uniform. Uh, uniform fracturing press execute fracture so and our object automatically converted to a lot of shapes but uh, uh, what's good uh, since it's the modifier so you can work with the whole object and this set of set of object as with one object and it's good so and uh, you see automatically uh, rigid body settings applied to each shard and here we put the triggered and uh, animated. So, uh, now this, uh, you can see once animation starts, our wall starts to collapse automatically. So we, for this we will sh we'll should apply or constraints or uh, make the, apply the animation for this put triggered animated so yes let's apply the mass to 100 object and now when we press play nothing happens till interaction with the other rigid body happens so um, that's uh, all for this wall ah yeah and uh, check deactivation and activation settings here 
that will help us to set up the reaction on the uh, reaction on other uh, object. So yeah, so we have see that our objects flying through the wall. Now we will set up our emitter and the heating object. Uh, and uh, we're gonna do this uh, using our magic plugin, which we downloaded from here. So when you select uh, the particle system, you can see here miscellaneous tab and the particles button. So we're gonna set speed to three to copy the velocity truly and also split impulse so and when press copy particles but uh, it happens so it's not creating the duplicate objects because uh, it's a rigid body so we select our source bullet and press P active at active physics tab and go to physics settings and here we can see that's the rigid body uh, physics applied to this and uh, so we press the button you can see that It's coming, yeah. But the bullets are still coming through the wall, so we go to our particle system and press particles. And you can see that some direction happens, it's not that what we expected. So we press Ctrl Z and uh, particle settings. First of all, I advise you to make the simulation start from the 5 uh, imaging of particles and uh, yeah, and uh, let's copy particles again. You can see that our bullets start 5, but for some reason they react in some strange way. It's orientation strange and also the size uh, the bullet strange okay so we go to edit mode again and uh, then edit our initial then resize it then turn z or z axis again by 90 degrees so our ray will active object uh, is set up. Let's see it will react with the wall. Now you can see that bullets behave in a strange way. Uh, that's why that's because we to put the check mark animated here and triggered as well. Yeah. So we hit the settings for initial object. Try to play again. And now see that it's fry fly through the wall. break it. Yeah. So uh, for better simulation, it increase the steps per second to 100 for example. That will make our simulation stable.
yeah. So now we have the simulation. And the silver inter interactions to twenty. And let's try to play it again. Okay. Yeah. Simulation is not uh, perfect because of because of uh, initial speed seems to be low, but we delete this uh, new set of created objects, then uh, make our emitter visible again. Let's try to create create particles from it again with speed of five. And let's try. Okay, now we see that our wound is breaking to pieces, smashed. The objects. So better results. We gonna move our particles. It's low. C. Happens. So that's the idea. Thank you very much for watching. It was SK Hardware. See ya.